sink and I'm not going to make a tutorial because I'm no plumber as you know but we'll, um, we'll kind of run through this as we do it. Basically I'm going to put the tap on and the tap connectors uh, first and then once we've got the vanity up it'll already be on there so it'll be a bit easier we can lift it on and then connect up the waste and the supplies underneath. Do you want me to hold this while you go and find the Right, so not being straightforward, this is the back of the vanity and from most of the ones I've seen in kitchen type units normally have a false back or they've got the, um, the back piece kind of set across which allows the pipe work to come up whereas this is flush to the wall which has been a real pain. So I've had to um, drill a hole for our waste pipe to come up, the 32mm uh, pipe and also the square cut out for the pipes. Uh, annoyingly the isolation valves are right down here I don't really want to turn everything off so we're gonna to have to lift up the cabinet to this height and then try between the two of us and slot it down over these two making to decide where we're going to put it. It's probably a bit too big for the space. Um, it's a freestanding unit so it could be centred on a, a large wall. Um, if we centre it here we end up with only a couple of inches either side and that was just going to be a bit of a pain to clean and can't store anything in there. And um, So we decided we're going to take it right into the corner and then we can silicone along and we've just got a nice tidy finish. Um, so we've had to move stuff across and I've just finished cutting the hole in the back there where the pipes come up and we'll tidy that up anyway. Connections are all ready, uh, I've got a track to put on the bottom of here which will run across and the male irons there to go onto our tap connectors which should just reach. So I've got a back support here uh, where I can put a fixing through into the wall just to hold everything really steady. This one is not against the wall, so I probably won't fix through there, but I, I can definitely put some into the back panels. Um, so rather than just holding into the plasterboard uh, through the tiles, I'm gonna find the studs and then we can put some long screws through. So I've grabbed a magnet off the fridge and just kind of run it down until we've come across the screw. And now we can just drop a line down. I think that should just be inside the cabinet. And then we'll do the same for the next two uh, studs and should be able to fix it really nice and solidly against the wall. Line there from the spirit level. Uh, we'll go through into a stud, just about get one here on that stud. The other side won't go, so I'll just go through and have to put a cavity fixing on the inside. I'll pop a few on the bottom as well into this plasterboard. Okay, so that's 
going absolutely nowhere. So we're ready to put the top on now. Because of the size and the design of the ceramic sink, it's a little bit uh, uneven on the bottom. So we'll need to get it on and we'll need to shim it where needed. And then when I'm happy with that, then we can we'll put a load of sealant on here and bed it down onto that. And once that's done, we can then put our seal along the back tiles and the wall. Then we'll mess it up. Alright, it's so all done now. I've ended up using two elbows um, just so I can kind of get it behind the shelf. And also, uh, unfortunately, the isolating valves have ended up just below the um, the bottom of the cupboard here, which will I'll have a cap that will sit over all this. Um, so it's a bit of a pain to get to, but actually you can get your hand down the side and uh, with the screwdriver. So I've made all that live now. No signs of leaks anywhere. Um, it's been on there for 10 minutes now, so I might just quickly check that and um, we'll see if the tap's running okay. That's the heart. Oh. All draining okay. Check the overflow. Even with both on, it's not splashing over, so otherwise, I could have tweaked it on the isolating bar. Right, so we'll just check the overflow works. One of the internal overflows thing. It wasn't perfectly level the sink, um, but as I said, a lot of the the shape of the sink is a little bit off anyway. So, so it's all good. All right, and we'll just check that it drains. It's going to drain pretty quickly actually because we've got that immediate drop. All right. So I'll go along now, silk on the back, and then we're all done.
So I'm not sure if you could tell from the previous footage, but here's the panelled sort of side of the vanity unit. And that's where the sink sits up on top. But if I give you a behind the scenes view, um, here is the slight gap underneath where I've got some sort of shims under there. Uh, but it's all sat on some silicon as well, so it's not going anywhere. And it's left it nice and level. So I put the middle shelf in now and already it's full of bathroom clutter. Didn't end up um, capping that gap at the back anyway because it's completely invisible now, it's covered in junk. So uh, that's all finished and those little child locks on the bottom as well. Keep everything safe. There's probably a few things in that video that we were doing incorrectly, so uh, you have to forgive us for that. Um, and maybe if you've got any tips or hints, drop them in the comment section below, and we'll uh, we'll pick up on those for the next time. So we're coming to the end of the bathroom series of videos now. So uh, sorry, there's been so many, and they're kind of all split up and a bit broken, uh, broken up. Basically, we filmed everything on a uh, little GoPro, and. It was just, I was just shooting footage as, as we did it and I'm trying to now piece together what was what. Hence why the shower video uh, didn't come out before this one. I've uh, got a bit of a mix up with the footage. So once we've got this uh, video up, the next one is edited and that will follow. Uh, and that's the shower and the shower screen. And after that, the last video, I promise, will be uh, one final wrap up. So it will be all the second fixed carpentry. The alcove, I've got to build some shelving uh, using some old floorboards. And I've got two radiators to fit. Here's one, the column radiator there. And there's a tall towel rail as well. So I think we should get it all wrapped up in that last video. So thanks for sticking with us. And uh, remember, please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You can subscribe using the button below if you haven't done so already, and we will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself.